This comes from IFS. This comes from Richard Schwartz. These are the eight C's of self-energy. This is how we can begin to recognize the compassionate state within us. The Buddhists do a terrible job at this. They just say Buddha nature. Okay, compassion. But what, okay, can I get like a little bit more detail? You know, given that compassion is also the Buddha's doorway to enlightenment. He taught there are two doorways to enlightenment. First is a genuine perception of the ultimate nature of reality. <laughs> and the second is a genuine experience of heartfelt compassion. I know which doorway I want. <laughs> the one that feels relatable to me, right? And, um, and so IFS has this great map of these states of the open heart, these qualities that we can identify, familiarize ourselves with, begin to recognize, and then deepen with, right? Clarity, compassion is on there, courage, confidence, curiosity, creativity, calm, and connectedness. Anytime you are feeling any of these qualities, we usually just start with the, with the top four, which are calm, clarity, compassion, and curiosity. It's a little easier to remember. Any, but any time you're feeling centered, like when you're in nature, any time you're in that creative flow, you know, where even taking a break to have a meal just seems like really in the way. Right? When, you're, when there's enough space to have really wonderful, maybe even altruistic ideas. In moments of clarity, those light bulbs, aha, oh my God, I just connected these two dots, now I see differently. Right. Um, and curiosity, well, last one I'll break down here, right? When we just have that sense of like, I wanna, I wanna know more. I'm leaning in, I wanna know more. In a friendly way. Like any time those energies are present within us, we're actually in touch with Buddha nature. We're actually in touch with self-energy. Right? Our parts aren't necessarily running the show, at least not so much. But what I love about this is, personally, I privilege compassion. Again, it's the doorway to ultimate liberation. It is the true healer. And I see the rest of these as either the entry-level compassion, like curiosity is entry-level compassion, right? You want to get to know something, you get to know enough about something or someone, and your heart starts to naturally melt for them, you know? Ever be in animosity or conflict with somebody and you find out more about their situation, and then you go, oh. If we did that with everyone in our lives, we would have that moment all day, right? So curiosity leads to compassion. Clarity gives us a space to discover compassion. Calm, kind of the same thing, gives us a space to discover compassion, right? And then, and then a lot of these are the kind of outgrowth of applied compassion, such as starting to have courage in the world and confidence in the world, right? Increased creativity increase connection in the world. These are all available. They're our birthright. Isn't that nice? They're what we begin to discover when our parts relax.